machinist gave me these I think they're fiberglass bulletproof panels for Boeing airplanes so I'm gonna test them out shooting them I got four of them clamped together right now although I think I'll just start out with one just to see if that can handle a nine millimeter and then we'll go up to 357 mag and I also got my AR-15 and my AK-47 with me. Okay, so we're gonna shoot one single layer of this bulletproof plexiglass with a nine millimeter Luger using my Glock 17. Ooh. It went right through with both nine millimeter bullets. Okay, we're gonna shoot 38 special at it with my Ruger GP100. Here's the first 38 special. So that one must have went straight through because that didn't move the plastic piece, knock it down or anything. And yeah, we just got a clean perfect 357 meg sized hole through that one. Let's try another one. I'll aim a little higher so I can differentiate where it is. Not sure if I... Okay, well since we know 38 Special won't make it through one piece and 9mm and 357 both did, we're going to step it up. So we'll shoot it with the 9mm Luger first. Shoot these three cartridges of 357 mag. We got the soft point, a hollow point, and then just kind of a flat top round. All 357 mag. And then I'll hit it with my AR-15 in 223-556 caliber. And then we will shoot it with my AK-47 and 762 by 39 millimeter. See if we can make it through two of them. So it does not look like it made it through. Okay, here's a 357 mag hollow point. That made it all the way through with authority. Now let's try the lead point. Looks like the lead point also made it all the way through. Now we'll try the flat point brass 357 meg bullet. layers with my AK and with my AR. We've got three layers thick and we're gonna try these rounds. Just this regular hollow point and then we're gonna try this bigger defense hollow point and then we're gonna try a critical defense hollow point with the red tip and then we're just gonna do a regular solid flat lead tipped 357 meg cartridge first 357 
and the third. Second. And the third. Do one more up top for good measure. Okay, so this is four thicknesses, and those two are the AR in the middle, and they made it all the way through, as you can see, and those two right there are the AK, and they also both made it all the way through, as you can see. So these clamps will only that I brought only hold four thicknesses thick of it, so we're just gonna have to call call it good there. So on this first sheet, these are all the rounds that we used. Starting with nine millimeter, these two types of 38 special, one 357 lead soft point, a 223 Remington, and a 7.62 by 39 millimeter AK-47 round. So there you got 38 special. And as you can see, that was the only round that didn't make it through the first sheet. There's the 38 special. I believe that's the flat nose. And then the other 38 special is right there. You can see it absorbed almost all the energy. And I do not see a passing through hole. And then the 9mm made it through. And... So did everything else, as you can see. 357 made it through the biggest hole, that's for sure. And the 7.62x39 and the 223 Remington rifle rounds. So since 38 Special didn't make it through one panel, I didn't bother trying it with two panels. But I did add one hollow point 357 Magnum. So we got two panels here now. And 9mm did not make it through two panels, as did this flat top 357 mag round, which I think was right there. And you can see that didn't make it through. Then you get the 9mm right here. Flip it over, and you can see there's no passing through hole, and everything else made it through. So with three panels, since 9mm didn't make it through two, I just went ahead and I shot it with 357 Magnum and the rifle rounds, but this time I added one Hornady Critical Defense. Okay, so at three layers, this is where things got really interesting. And the only thing that made it through the two layers were the two rifle rounds. Now, I had these clamped together. The cool thing about this is four 357 Magnum rounds in between these pieces, and I haven't removed the clamps yet because I wanted to save it for the video, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So, oh wow, look at that. That's so cool. There's the marks on the plexiglass. And look at all those rounds. Oh, that thing is stuck in there. That's really cool. So that was three layers. As you can see, the only thing that made it through were the rifle rounds. There's still some little pieces of bullet shrapnel there. Those three were the ones that came loose. And then this, these two pieces go together. See this tip came out of that part there. That's basically just lead from the hollow point. It was like that.
now looking for these rounds out there is like looking for a needle in a haystack, but I spent about 10 minutes or so, and these are the only ones I could find. These are perfectly intact. I'm assuming they came from some of the earlier sheets, like probably two layers, or maybe even one of them was from three. But yeah, they look like they are 38 special. Well, the only caliber that made it through the three sheets were the two rifle rounds. So that's what I went ahead and shot the four layers of plexiglass with. It was just the 223 Remington and the 7.62x39. Well, thanks for watching and supporting my channel. It took a lot of time and effort into filming and editing and creating this video. And when I filmed it last Sunday, I was an idiot and I didn't wear sunscreen. And I actually got the worst sunburn of my life. It's been horrible the last week dealing with it. Probably some of the worst pain I've experienced in my life. I got pretty close to first degree burns, I believe. So I might make a little video showing that later on down the road. But yeah, it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> so... I'm definitely going to wear my sunscreen from now on, and now I feel like I'm catching a cold too, you can probably sound, tell from the sound of my voice, but yeah. So it's been a rough week for me, but I really wanted to make this video, and I did, so thanks for watching it, and supporting my channel, and have a good rest of your day.